everybody, Dizzy Crafter here with a video sharing my thoughts and feelings about these three machines. So we've got the Gemini 2, the Gemini Junior and the Sizzix. Um, I know I did actually do a Gemini versus a Sizzix one sometime last year but since then uh, Crafter's Companion have released the Gemini 2 and I actually purchased this from QVC. Um, I, since then I also got rid of my original Gemini so I've only kept the Gemini Junior just for the foiling machine mainly um, otherwise if, they didn't, if the foiling machine could have been used elsewhere I'd have probably got rid of that as well just to save on space um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down so you can see the machines better because you don't need to see my ugly mug and we can talk about them. Uh, it is only going to be a quick video though because I'm running out of time and I need to get somewhere so I just want to do it very quickly. So hopefully you can see all of these um, in view and I'm not going to go on through measurements and stuff like that because there isn't that much in it apart from the juniors obviously smaller than both of these machines. This one is ever so slightly wider and this one's ever so slightly taller. Um, sorry I should say this one's longer than this one but it's the depth is deeper on the Gemini and it's slightly taller than the Sizzix um, and they all come with all the different platforms of plates and that's I think is where we're going to start so my oldest machine I have here is the Gemini Junior I think although it doesn't get that much use so the plates you get with the Gemini Junior is two cutting plates, a magnetic shim, the milky white shim and a metal shim. Um, and like I said, these I don't really use these that much, though you can see that these plates have warped. This one stayed more or less the same because I've I tried to do using both plates rotating um, in the past and it just ends up being even more difficult to use um, and this one has had its fair use out of it and to be honest it's it's not too bad for a Gemini plate from what my experience was from the Gemini original um, and then my next oldest plate would be the Sizzix and with the Sizzix you get the platform and you get another shim and then you get the two cutting plates now this is the machine that I have used most um, I've not, I'm still on the original plates which I got this uh, back in January, February 2022 so it's coming up to a good 18 months old and I do a lot of die cutting so I'm really impressed with how little of the plates have warped although they have warped but that is normal and then the Gemini 2 um, this plate, this machine I've had around six weeks and for that you get the same kind of plates you will get the metal shim you get an embossing mat which you do get actually with the Gemini Junior I've just misplaced mine I just didn't know where it was for this video because it's not something I use then you get two cutting plates which are now white uh, you get a magnetic shim and then you get a plastic shim which is now like transparent as opposed to being milky white um, now from my experience uh, the plates the Sizzix still wins it hands down from my previous one when I was doing this review via Gemini and Sizzix definitely the plates have, have won and I can show you why just by going to the main cutting plates of both um, hopefully you can see the warpage there. This is only six weeks of use and this is like near enough 18 months of use and I really hope the camera can pick up like how much it's warped um, and I rotated these religiously. I had a thing in my head of how I rotated them. I rotated every mat every time and I've still got this warpage and you'll see in a minute I do struggle to actually put this in the machine now. Um, the Gemini Junior again it hasn't had that much use because I don't pull it out that much because I always tend to go for my Sizzix but it has had use and I couldn't really tell you how long I've had this plate for because I've gone through that many plates of the Gemini um, that I just don't remember unfortunately. I only remember this because I'm still 
like never opened my I got a second set of cutting pads um, and I've still got them brand new in the packaging so so I've got to turn these on all of them on so they all have this on switch with the junior there's nothing to do other than they have the on switch but to get the Sizzix to work you have to pull down this this lever here um, and then for the Gemini I'm going to have to pull down the front lever and they have a back lever which I do kind of like because it prevents any dust. You've also got a thing here where you can store your iPad, you can put a few bits of tools in, I'm sorry there's bits of paper in there but I have been using them. And then on the back is the same as this in the front and you've got this, this tray here where you can store all your tools so you've got two of those. And I really like that feature that you've got the two and it's easy to actually open whereas the Sizzix one is very difficult to open. I can do this one fingered more or less. Yeah, one fingered whereas I need both my hands on this one. And I've just got my storage instructions in there because it was just pointless because it was just so a bit of a pain, especially if I've got my nails on. I haven't got my nails on at the moment, but if I have my nails on I'd won't be able to open that so I never ever use that um, they've got on all of them they've got a reverse button but on both the Gemini's you've actually got a pause button as well which you don't have that on the Sizzix um, and I think that's more or less it oh no actually on the Gemini you've actually got a USB three USB ports at the back here and um, it also came with a lazy Susan which I didn't put on because I didn't feel the need for it because it did move very easily whereas if I try to move that it's not really going and this one's not really going um, to be honest I didn't kind of like that feature just because I thought it easily could get moved because it can just be pushed so easily uh, whereas I liked the sturdiness of these machines was not going nowhere um, and I did think well, it had the feature of the Lazy Susan if you wanted that on you could have had that easily portability on the table for that anyway I do get where Sarah's coming from for it but I personally didn't really think it needed it but I guess other people may think differently um, so cutting I feel like they're all more or less the same for cutting uh, it just is down to the cutting pads but I will give a little demonstration so I've just got some white 300 GSM cards I don't know what brand it is it was something from a craft show but I'm using the exact card, same card on all of the machines and then I've just got some dies that are from uh, Pretty Gets Gritty from a paper society box so I thought we'll just use these on all of them and we'll see how it cuts and you can hear how loud each machine is I think we'll start with the Sizzix. You've got to bear in mind when I'm doing this, I am doing it kind of reverse, so it's not all any of these machines are not going to go in as easy as they would do if I was just sat down or facing them in the correct way. We'll do a circle, and then we've got this one that's got some embossing detail on and some other little circles. Um, and I feel like that should be enough just for this demonstration. Um, so on this, then we need to bob that down now the one feature that I did state in my previous video is that I liked the fact on the Sizzix we could rest our pads whereas on the Gemini we couldn't rest the pads and obviously the Gemini Junior also gives you that feature which I absolutely do think it was um, a really good change that Sarah made for that one like I said these plates have been warped now as well uh, so they, are, they aren't as easy as when the brand new plates so just cut that through you can hear how quiet it is it isn't dead loud or anything like that and then you just pull that from the back and then we should have some stuff cut so it's cut the circle very easy and then just have to just throw them on the floor for now and it's also cut all of them and it's even embossed I'm not going to spend time like pulling out all those circles but hopefully you can see here 
but it has done that as easy as butter so the next one we'll go with is the Gemini Junior um, I really don't like the uh, process of doing the, doing the Gemini's this this particular one just because it's hard to get all the plates in the right position I don't need the metal shim so we'll just put them there and then you want your milky white shim then you want your magnetic shim and then you want your extra cutting plate and it's a lot to hold and especially once these plates warp and then you feed that to the machine and you can hear how loud that is But again, it's cut perfectly, the circle is cut perfect, I'll just get this out, oh actually it's not cut all that circle out, but we can see here, it's not cut it properly, if I, I've had to pull that and it's, it's literally destroyed the circle as such, it's got some fibres going on there, so that isn't a great start is it but it has cut majority of it and it has actually put all the embossing detail on there too now we'll take the uh, Gemini 2 again just get my paper out to it with help and again we've got this whole process of all like the different plates again which can be very difficult to hold um, but we have got this rest that we can actually put them on so I can put them on there to keep that like kind of straight and whilst I get everything else in place and then you want your clear cutting plate I mean it isn't as difficult as this making out whilst I'm doing it the wrong way because I wouldn't normally be putting them in this way then you've got your magnetic shim and then you've got your previous cutting plate now because these have warped that much I do find this exceedingly difficult even if I was facing the right way and it just as you can see there we are we finally got it which is not the best to be able to do that when the plates are literally six weeks old. But it has cut it perfect. Yeah, it's even cut that one out that the Gemini Junior didn't, so we've got all that embossing detail and all them circles. They will come out, I just need to poke them out with my poker tool. So um, that's that, uh, what else can I tell you about these machines? So it's like the die cutting, I don't want to really do loads of die cutting, it was just to give you a, a rough idea of what it's like and to show you how difficult these plates are once they're warped and like I can't stress enough that these are only six weeks old, these plates, um, Sarah said that they'd um, done some really good work on these and they was going to be much better than the previous plates um, and I have to admit that the first week or so they didn't seem to warp as easy as the previous plates but as you can see it is still and I don't feel like they've been hammered that much I mean like obviously you can see like all the the workings I've been doing but I still think like if you go to this one which is 18 months old there's a hell of a lot more cuttings that has gone on in them um, I haven't tried to straighten them out at any point if they've literally are has I've had them out of the box so yes that's really really disappointing to me because I really really wanted to like this machine and I do like it um, it does do some really nice cutting I think it's amazing to use with my foil press and that's why I really wanted to get it so because it gave me that wider option and there's a new foil press plate that they can get hold of 
uh, and I could have got rid of the Gemini because I really don't like feeding them plates through the Gemini and it's a tight squeeze with the foil press machine too so I was really hoping to actually get rid of that um, but as it happens I'm not going to be able to I am very very lucky that I did get this from QVC so it gave me a 60 days chance of using it and they are actually coming collecting it tomorrow and that's why I'm rushing this video through because I need to get it all packed up um, I guess the last thing I could show you really is how long each one takes now obviously I can't exactly go down to a science and I'm not going to post any like dyes or anything like that in there but um, what I can do is I can try and get it set up ready to go through on both of them and then hopefully we can get them going through at more or less the same pace but this Gemini one is exceedingly difficult to do so So I'm going to start the Gemini off first. So obviously the Gemini is finished and although I did start the scissors afterwards, I don't think like that was still going on a few more seconds more than the Gemini so I do believe that the Gemini does get the plates through quicker um, but in on all honesty it does a few seconds matter that much really um, I feel like they're probably on par with noise let's just go through it again so we'll do this one first and I'll be quiet And then we'll do this one again. In fact, whilst I put this one in, I will swivel this one round just because it's so easy to do so. And I'll show you me actually putting these in, the, in here. I'll try and get it on camera as I would be if I wasn't videoing this. So. so you can see like how easier it is but it's still very difficult at the same time and I still actually believe in my opinion the Sizzix is quieter than the Gemini it's not much quieter but it is actually quieter um, so yeah so my overall view is avoid the Gemini's uh, originals and the juniors unless you need it for the foil press so this would be the bottom of my list to buy. Um, obviously this is going back, so I wouldn't be repurchasing this. Um, I mean, obviously I, I do actually really like the machine, which is really so sad. Like I do love the features of it. I love this, the charging ports for my iPad or my iPhone and other things. I love like I can put my iPad here so I can watch what, what I'm doing, some YouTubes and stuff. I love the storage units, how easy it is, and we get two of them. Um, I love that you can actually put a Lazy Susan on it and it's got that feature for it and you, you've got that choice, you don't have to have it. So there's lots about this machine I actually love. It's just the plates that's let it down for me um, because I am not going to be struggling to do my die cutting because it's a chore sometimes in itself, especially when you've got a lot to do. Um, and it, that is what a real shame of it is and I know I understand that every single plate warps that is part of die cutting in general and it is a consumable but I don't want to be consume, consuming these every six weeks because they're not cheap I mean I couldn't actually tell you the prices of each of the plates now as well so I mean if I, I put links in the description so you can have a look yourselves uh, but there's a lot more to replace with the Gemini. Um, I don't really feel like you'd ever, well I know I would never re have to replace the rubber mat. But I, in my juniors I've had to replace the metals, I've had to replace the cutting pads and I've also had to replace the plastic shim and the magnetic shim. 
Um, and although Crafters Companion quite often have really good deals on the prices of the plates, and I am a platinum member, so I do get it slightly cheaper, I do feel that it is a lot to replace. Whereas when I do have to replace my Sizzix, I literally have to just replace the cutting pads. And as I do with most of my shoes, if not all, I always leave one clean and just one for cutting. So every time I get, when, I, when this breaks, which it will do, they all do, um, I will then use this as my cutting plate and my new one will become my clean plate as such. So I'm only having to replace them like every, well like I've still not replaced them and I've had that 18 months nearly or, or just about. So yeah, so I feel like you can all tell I am still raving about the Sizzix even all these months on. I do a lot of die cutting, I am a cricket, I have so much die cutting materials to do and it is my number one go to for, for cutting using dies. My Gemini Junior, I will have to keep because of my foil press. Um, like I said, this one is going. I'd really love it if you could tell me what your opinions are. I mean, is the people out there that are like die hard note the Gemini is way better than the Sizzix? Uh, I'm sure the people are, but for me, Sizzix hands down. Every time I compare it with yet another machine that comes on the market, it still wins it for me. And this is not affiliated, this is just my honest review. I've not been sent any of these. I've purchased every single one of these machines myself. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for this video, really. So I'd really love it if you would please comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And I hope to catch you in another video soon. Bye.